Hey everyone, welcome to part two. Uh, we lost our last one, so we're gonna duel Simon again. Because if you lose a duel in this game, you lose the whole game. Why does it keep giving you summaries of really terrible normal monsters? It's trying to convince me to buy them. I mean, it's, 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 it's okay. We go on the thing. It's, it's being educational in a way. This is what card games were like before this stupidity game. So. Also, just the book on your bedside table. Yeah. Is it actually about sex and money, or is it? Yeah. It's about, uh, you know, not being obsessed with the two things. It's quite nice. So oh. we're gonna, we're gonna play a card face down. Anti-pleasure cycle. Pleasure. We live in a world obsessed with finding. Hey, 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 Have focus on the Let's Play here. Focus on the Let's oh, Play. Come on, let me read this. No, 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 we're gonna no, focus no, no, on the no, Let's no, Play. No, 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 The point of Let's Play commentary is that you go into weird and tangential places that... That has some relation to this. Resemble. So he summoned the Hun Horn Needle. That's what, that's a weird monster. And you are obsessed with that book. I'm a bit worried about you all of a sudden. Don't make the mistake of seeking horizontally yes. what you can find only vertically. And that is how you e direct that works. Alright then, we are in a bit of luck here because he has no spell or trap cards, we have monsters, we're going to summon Spirit Reaper and move our Steamoid to attack mode. And now we're going to lay some hurt on this asshole. Revenge! Steamroid, attack! And gain your bonus attack points, because why not? We love you. So that's another hit for us. We're gonna attack now with our Spirit Reaper. And uh, he's gonna take deal some damage on this butthole we got rid of. Uh, we lost the they're all mature things. This guy has. This guy uses all mature monsters. Are they still like cartoon insects or cartoon plants? Or? They're like cartoon plant insect monsters, but they are evil. They are a vicious archetype which knows no mercy. Go. Unless you have cards. Unless they are missing a few of their very key cards. So we're going to use Ray Jackie Break because we don't like Discarding. it. Discarding. I'll get rid of our struggle. We don't need it. I'll blow that up. And. This is gonna be interesting. End turn, we're gonna let him have our turn up. Oh, Ooh, we're it's ancient gear time. But we're not gonna do that, we're gonna summon Mechanical Chaser. Because he has not done a single spell trap card, apparently. There's also the fact that we literally have nothing to do with ancient gear time, too. That, no, that, that too. It's not even that much of a tank, is it? It's not a tank, is it? It's a heavily armored thing that protects the people in it. That's more like a bike with a gun on the front of it. Alright then, we are gonna take a card from his hand now. We just. No, oh, I don't even care what we got. We discarded the card from his hand. He has nothing to fight us with. Except for that. And, oh no, he's gonna attack us. It's an insect, it howls. But this guy just has no spell or trap cards anymore. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use that and win the duel. Oh, is that Kassar already out? No. He has, he has not been fighting back. So, so you can... basically, you win this entire game by luck. I don't win it by luck. I wonder if I skill- wait, like, this is just one instance of luck. And the machine deck that you bought. Which wasn't even that great. Well, listen. How much did it set you back for the machine deck again? But two quid. That's not as bad, but at the same time you are paying for virtual cards. Let me ask- Man C. Maximum six, Barrel Dragon, nice card. Tune Mass Sorcerer, Psy Station. Uh, Yashinoki, uh, Herald of Orange Light. Oh yeah, I just realized. So yeah, the card we, the deck we're using right now is just the pure machine deck that was downloaded. Um, you know, because why not? I thought, hey, that's quite cool. Well, it's machine it's fair deck. Yeah, Spare Reaper is a nice card to have. So we're gonna duel this next person. Now let's see how this one goes. We're gonna get through the preliminaries. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's gonna be good. We know you get through the pre preliminaries. Seriously, I'm going to spoil every single plot What are you point. going to put in the video description apart from, in this part, we get through the preliminaries? I'm going to put in the things we do people. I'm not going to say the outcome. Have you ever picked up a DVD and looked at the back of it and goes, I guess, by the way, they're a goat. He's been a ghost the whole time. Spoiler alert for The Sixth Sense and the others, by the way, guys. But The Sixth Sense, everyone knows the ending of The Sixth Sense. So, six. No one knows the ending of this, though. That's the point. <laughs> in, in nitwit. Okay, we got a koala in our hands. Oh, yeah, it's koala. We're fighting someone called Rolly or Rolly, whatever her name is, we don't care. She's gonna play a card face down. She's gonna use uh, a oh. wave motion cannon. So if we don't beat her in eight turns, we lose. Is basically the Oh, and now she's used Scout Barrel. Oh, okay. This person using is using a burn deck. They're going so to... it's seven turns now. <laughs> yep. And it's probably gonna be a lot less very soon. 
So let's see how we're gonna do this. We are going to, uh, I think we're gonna... No, we're gonna beat him face down. We're gonna attack with our Drool Yeah, it's not worth using the head right now. Plus, it's nice having Defense Monster and, uh, Blast here. Damn it. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's a chain. Yep, so it goes first, and then we don't get our effects. Damn it. Wait, Drill Roy's offense if it attacks a defense position monster, isn't it? Yeah. So it still flips it face up, and then yeah. you can, uh, that sucks. Okay, so we have to end our turn. She's gonna... Okay, that's the first turn of our demise. Now she has Black Salvo, and she's gonna attack... Aw, oh, honey, you just took some damage. Not very much damage. But, but she got Tragedia from that. Damn it. <laughs> It's like Mini Slifer the Sky Dragon. It was also the main villain of the GX manga. Yeah, but no one needs the GX manga. I actually like how the manga goes on a different, like, screen to the anime and doesn't use the same plot points. Also, how they have slightly different decks. Okay, so we just took 1600 damage. Now she only needs 5 turns for the Wave Motion Cannon to kill us. Yay! Um, okay, we'll go attack mode with this. Yeah, Gives like 100 attack for every card in your hand or something, or 500 attack. So we're gonna end our turn by using Smashing Ground, blowing up Tragodia, and we're gonna play a little trap card for her. She will not see that coming. She used Omen Spirit. Damn it. So now we can't even attack without hurting ourselves. Okay, that's two turns of that cannon thing. Oh no, we're being attacked. What are we gonna do? Oh, oh okay. Magic no, Cylinder, so bitch! Away you go. <sighs> Look at that, that is brilliant. Okay, and now she has another card face down. Hmm. Oh, yes! yes. Submarine Roid, we are gonna change you to defense mode. We're gonna attack with you. Oh, because you can change Submarine Roid to defense mode after. Yep, we are going to hit and run, basically. Okay then, battle phase, let's attack it directly. Attacking! Not gonna use the effect of any card, we don't need one. Just desserts. Um, Four turns until we die. Yep. We are not gonna use Lunder removal because she wanted to keep our monster. Maybe next time. I don't think. Like, okay, so she's almost lost all of her life points. This is going pretty well so far. Did you to activate the effect of Submarine Roid? Oh, yep. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna play that face down then. Just... I mean, the screen we're looking at is a little smaller than it normally would be, but I'm pretty sure you just flagged up a thing saying activate the effect of Submarine Well, you know, it's, it's a fast-paced game, you know, sometimes lose concentration. But now we have our limiter removal, which doesn't help us in any way. It just makes the damage less painful. Yay! Because if you'd left the damage as is, she could just sacrifice weight and kind of end and off you instantly. Uh, okay, yeah, we we are in a bit of trouble here. So, in our turn, we might have a chance of winning if she blows up a price of full face down card. Um, yay! We got our morphing jar activated. So, when do you activate the effect wave motion cards? Um, whenever you want, basically. Um, oh, now yeah. she's... Okay, so we, we're, we're just going to exit quickly. Going to go back into that, because we actually wanted to get through this tournament. Now, alright then, let's do this. We're going to try it. We're going to try again. We're gonna we should do probably it. explain that if you lose one duel, you have to start again from the very beginning. Yep. For anyone joining us in this part, um, this uh, game is evil. Ah, and Remember that card? That was an awesome card. Of course it was. It was a five-star ninja. It was more powerful than Doom. Oh, than we just lost. Okay then, ready, we're gonna go... Oh, we're going second then. That's fair enough, that sounds fun. So, how's this turn? How do you think this one's gonna go? Better than the last one? Maybe, I don't know. See, I just don't know how this is gonna go, actually. Okay, then, so... You have a terrible memory. Oh, it's dark. Oh, too Two dark. Two Dark Nightmare. Tremendous fire. She is not even starting easy. And... I have a terrible memory. I can tell you every five seconds what I have on the field. Goodness sake. When we're playing over Skype, I see it perfectly well in real life. Yeah, but I still have to tell you every five seconds. What do you have in your field? I have a face down monster. Uh, what do you have in your field again? Face down monster. <laughs> maybe I should just get like a proxy deck or whatever. No, maybe you should just, you know, work on your memory skills. Okay, so we have Blast here attached to our mechanical chaser. That's not going to be very nice. Um, oh, because then that'll actually 
start. Yep, yeah, we're gonna take a hit, I reckon. You're not gonna win this one, are you? Well, we're, we're gonna find out, aren't we? We're gonna duel and then find what happens. We're gonna take damage, more damage. Holy crap, she is just being a total bitch about this. Um, any players out there who burn decks, screw you. No offense, but it's a really cheesy way to go. Okay, we're gonna end our turn, play defensive, see what she does. Maybe we'll lure into, fault, into a false sense of security. Black Salvo, she gets a monster back from her graveyard. Oh crap. Oh no, I know what she's gonna do. Is Black Salvo a tuner monster? It's a tuner. She's bringing out. Uh, Leo Guardian. No, worse. She's bringing out Dark Strike Fighter. The ultimate burn monster. Oh. And she has another Black Salvo. Wait, why is the exact effect of Black Salvo? When it is summoned, you can summon a machine monster from your graveyard. Um, oh no, one level four. Level four dark type monster. And now she's gonna sacrifice her Black Salvo. We're gonna take some damage. Wait, it can sacrifice anything? As many as it's cannon soldier on steroids. Wait, what does it inflict damage equal to? The level times two hundred. I thought it's just so cool. No, it can, so it can sacrifice anything. It can sacrifice anything at once. And inflict damage equal to its level time. Two hundred. Two hundred. As many monsters in the turn as at once as well. Uh, and now she's brought another thing. We are totally bummed. This is not going to end well. So she's gonna sacrifice her Zoma. She, I don't even think she's gonna attack us anymore. She's just gonna activate the attack strike and fight her again. Uh, damn it. Okay, well, if you think about it, though, all we need, we only need the points to win, right? And this is why Dark Strike Fighter was banned. Yeah, of course it was. Um, yeah, so, okay, we only need a certain amount of points to actually get through. We may have already gotten those points from, you know, the other two duels. So, okay, looks good. Um, I hope we got enough no, no points. What, he no, we attack. finished in second. By, apparently, I don't know how. So, okay, oh we'll, yeah, because right, there's four. We'll go back in. Yep, yeah. so we're going to go back in. We're going to uh, try this duel again. Oh uh, crap. It has saved that. right after we lost the duel. Yep, yeah, we've just been kicked out of the game. No! No! What was the point of these first two parts again? We, we need it's a journey. Come on. Um, <laughs> so we have just got it. Okay, then here's what we're gonna do. We are going to off-screen make a better deck, beat the preliminaries, and we'll see you next part when we're in the actual tournament. Till next time. So the next part just goes on as if you'd won the.